does God expect me to forgive anyway? How could he ask something like that of me? Isn't that the way we feel? When we think of the wrongs that have been done to us, it is just amazing how frustrated we feel that God would even expect us to forgive somebody who raped us or somebody who hit us. Uh, how can we forgive somebody who stole from us or lied on us? And I mean, the list just goes on and on ad infinitum. And, and we just can't figure out, you know, deadbeat dad left, deadbeat mom never was there. You know, we don't get the fact that forgiveness is not for them. Forgiveness is for us. You know, there are poisonous toxins that go throughout your body when you don't forgive, when you when you resent people, when you hold someone accountable for what they did wrong to you and you think to yourself or even say to some of them, I will never forgive you, baby. If you die, I'll dance on your grave. <laughs> Sometimes we're very tempted to say those types of things or even tell a person, why don't you just drop dead? Because the anger, the anger we feel is eating us up alive. I remember I've heard a number of speakers say it is like taking a bottle of poison and the poison has their name on it. And you open that poison up, and you drink it. Now the poison went down in your body, right? But it had their name on it. What sense does that make? What harm is that going to do to them? Think about it. What harm is it going to do? You think it? <laughs> That's what we do with ourselves. We get to the point where we feel like we are justified in having this resentment. This is my resentment. I earned every bit of it. I earned the right to hate. I earned the right to resent. I will talk about them like a dog. I will tell everybody what a louse they were. I will broadcast it on the rooftop. Try to stop me. I earned the right, baby. Well, Kinda, sorta, you didn't. <laughs> because if God were to list the wrongs you did and the wrongs I did, they wouldn't be a, a there really wouldn't be a great difference. They just have different clothes and costumes on. So this is the part that we have to remember. The scripture says. If you don't forgive those that offended you, I'm putting it in paraphrase every day, pat love language, there's no way you can expect God to forgive you for your trespasses because he won't. So he requires us to forgive. And this is the main reason because it gets the toxins out of our bodies, minds, and spirits. Do you hear me? We are killing ourselves with the hatred we harbor for someone else's wrong. So in order for us to live the abundant life, to be totally free, to have joy unspeakable and full of glory, we have to take that wrong. Let me see what I can pick up here. Oh, here's my little tissue. We have to take that wrong and the list that we've written on a piece of paper. And we have to be willing to say, hasta la bye bye, baby. Doesn't seem possible, does it? I know. But let me tell you something. When I couldn't forgive, didn't want to forgive, couldn't be bothered with forgiving, and didn't think they were worthy of my forgiveness, I told the Lord that. 
And I said, now, because I read that scripture and you require it of me, then this is what I need you to do. Since there is nothing in me anywhere that wants to forgive, then I am asking you to put the ability and the desire to forgive inside of me because there's none there. So if you require it of me, then I need for you to give it to me because I don't have it. Boy, let me tell you, I started running into some of the culprits that I thought I'd never be able to forgive. One was a slap, one was a rape, one was a molestation. And I mean, I never thought I'd be able to forgive. And I saw these folks at different times. And I, I mean, before I knew it, a smile was on my face like it would be for anybody else. And I said, wait a minute. The, the knot in my throat is gone. The lump in my stomach. Everything's gone. The anger is gone. I, I said, Lord, how did you do that? It's gone. I'm not angry anymore. That's the kind of miracle God will do. All you have to do is ask him to help you, give you the ability that you don't have and the desire that you don't have. And guess what? Just by asking, it'll be right there at your disposal. And you will find yourself not having the hatred and the resentment that you so, so carefully nursed all your life. It's just not there. God will do that for you. Ask. And he will give you the ability to forgive and just about forget. I mean, I must say that everybody that I have ever had any issues with, I have none with now. I even was able, check this out, I was able to hug a woman who came to my salon one night drunk as a skunk and reeky of alcohol. And she just wanted to come in and talk. The woman owed me close to a thousand dollars in rent money. Took me to court. And I didn't get a dime in order for her to leave immediately. I said, now ain't that something? But you know what? All the anger was gone. When she came to the door and she talked, she wanted a hug before she left. And guess what? The love God had already put in my heart enabled me to put my arms around her and hug her. Only God can help you do that kind of stuff. I'm telling you, God will give you a higher level of love than you've ever had in your life. God will give you the ability to forgive folks you never thought you ever excuse in your life. God will give you the ability to help someone that stabbed you in your back. I am telling you that God's honest truth. When God steps in and you invite him into the most, into the darkest, deepest, um, most devastating recesses of your, of your soul and your heart. When God says he will shed his light in your darkness, he, did, he is not lying. You will find yourself with a, a newfound vibrance, a newfound vitality. You feel renewed and refreshed and all that old negative mess is gone and even your body feels better. Your life is clearer. Your mind is clearer. Life is wonderful without all that poison. Trust me when I say, God bless you as you endeavor to forgive. Amen.